Hi there, my name is Chris Voms and I am a consultant for Acute Edge, uh, where we specialize in Salesforce implementation, integration, application development, training, and support for nonprofits. Uh, I'm here to quickly talk about how to configure record types, uh, sales processes, and stages for donations within the uh, within Salesforce using the nonprofit starter pack. Uh, so let's jump right in. First of all, uh, quick primer: record types. Um, allow you to define page layouts that are used when the record type is selected. It's uh, important to create record types that correspond to donation or fee types where each type has a similar field and visibility requirements. Furthermore, donation record can go through its own unique type of sales process. Uh, sales process uh, basically defines the pick list values of the stage fields. The stage fields tell a user when a donation or fee record is in the overall process of closing that donation or fee record. Uh, lastly, record types can also be used to expressly include or exclude uh, uh, donation or fee uh, fees from rolling up uh, to their corresponding account or contact record. Uh, this is very handy if your organization receives both donations from constituents and receives fees or proceeds for services such as classes or products, merchandise sales, etc. Uh, which again, these are not typically considered donations and subsequently would not want them rolling up into the gift totals. Um, so on this, to, to accomplish this, the first thing I do is actually just make a quick worksheet uh, listing out all of the stages that I uh, typically go through within all of our uh, sales processes. And the nice thing about this is you can quickly get a visual on uh, what stages then apply to specific sales processes. And again, you can come to agreement within your organization as well on what those processes are, along with the uh, you know, naming conventions or semantics for the different stages that they're in. Uh, also, you can quickly identify where uh, there's areas where you could actually consolidate a specific sales process. For instance, here on these last two, I've got sponsorship and events uh, process along with course registration fees process, and you can see they both have the same stages applied to them. These could actually be consolidated just into one um, if necessary. So once that is done, the next thing I do is then just list out all of the sales process names along with the descriptions. Um, and once that is done, then I can go in and actually create them in Salesforce. And, and, and for doing that, you of course go under setup, uh, select opportunities, sales process, and enter the new sales process name with the uh, description. And while you're in there, of course, this is where you can define the stages that apply to that specific sales process. So this helps with the worksheet that we did up here where we can quickly do that, assuming that, of course, you've already entered your stage names um, under the opportunity. So again, go under for each sales process, again, go under uh, each, each one here and assign the uh, stages that apply to that specific uh, sales process. So when that's done, we then go in and create our record types. And again, start with a worksheet here. List all your record types that you uh, are thinking about or uh, perhaps going to enter along with the descriptions. And then also make sure that you have a column here that applies them back to the sales process. So when this record, so basically what happens is when this record type is selected, the stages that you uh, that you assign to that sales process are going to be then applied. So those stages will be only will be the only ones that will be uh, showing uh, when that record type is selected. So again, here we've got our record types. Here's our record types names, descriptions, and then the sales process that it applies to. So again, just a quick, uh, a quick helpful hint and some good uh, best practices that you may want to utilize uh, the next time you're configuring um, the uh, donation objects for your uh, nonprofit. I appreciate it. Thank you for listening.